the abstract factory provides us with a solution for the following problem how to enable us getting new objects without um, knowing the exact classes that should be instantiated and without knowing the exact methods that should be invoked on those new objects in a way that will allow us to select the factory relevant for the specific um, uh, group of types uh, we are interesting, interesting in working with. I will explain. Let's imagine that we have uh, various classes that describe, represent uh, games. We have games made of wood, games made of uh, paper, steel, plastic, and so on. We can, in this case, um, define a factory, uh, so, or let's say separated factories for each one of those um, uh, of those cases. For example, a factory for getting objects that uh, represent uh, games made of wood. A separated factory for getting objects that represent games made of steel. Uh, we can continue and also define more classes, more factories, a factory for getting objects that represent games uh, made of paper and so on. Defining all of those classes, all of those factory classes as classes that extend the very same base class which shall be uh, defined as an abstract class allow us to select the factory we want to work with and then write our code which shall be the same code for any factory we select. Now if we give it a try and execute this code sample we get uh, this output.